talk for us? Okay. Do you hear a dog? Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah, you hear a dog. Now, how about you say hi, Max? No, to the people, not the dog. Hi, Max. <laughs> hi, Max. You gonna wave now, Max? What do you think? These nice people stop to say hello. Hi, Max. <laughs> Yeah. He knows it. He love he loves doing his dog impression. He does a dinosaur impression. He does a chicken impression. Max, can I get a buck buck buck? No, how about a buck buck buck? Buck buck buck. No, buck buck. Not bark bark. Buck buck. No, he's fixated on the dog. <laughs> Yeah, he's 20, 28 years old. That's young for a cockatoo, though. He can live as long as a human does. He'll probably outlive me. Uh, oh, yeah, you're being cute, Max. You waving? What do you think? Beautiful, Max. Yeah, loves to get out for a walk. He's wearing a harness, which is what you see on his front. It's safety. You never know when a bird's going to get startled and it's, you know, safety first. <laughs> but it's really good for him to get out for a walk. It's a beautiful day out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You want to show off your crest, buddy? Show off your crest. Wee! Show your crest. You going to show your crest? Wee! <laughs> show off! Are you a show off? Show off! Oh, you're not going to be a show-off. Okay. Okay, that's one show-off. Buck, buck, buck. Buck, buck. Can you show your crest? Crest up. Big show-off. Big show-off. Crest up. Whee! <laughs> He's going to think about that in five minutes' time. He'll lift his crest. It's a gnat. What do you think, buddy? When he lifts him. You're wearing a crown when you lift your crest, right, buddy? You're quite the show off. Yeah, so pretty. Can you get a full crest, though? Can you get a full crest? Where do you buy? I actually would, would discourage anybody from buying a bird. There's a lot in rescues and that are looking for their forever homes, quite honestly. But a parrot of any type is takes a lot of attention. He's just like a toddler. He needs attention every day. He He's noisy. He makes a big mess, trust me. Um, and, you know, a lot of times people get a bird. They're interested in them for the first little while and then they get bored because they realize there's so much more work than a cat or a dog. Birds are still wild animals. They're not domesticated like cats or dogs. And I don't think that it's a good thing for the pet trade to be breeding parrots. Max was a rescue. I met him when he was 10 years old and he was living in a basement. He had, he knew how to bite. He knew how to yell. Those were the two things he did well. I did not think I'd ever be able to handle him. And I took him as a temporary, temporary placement. I said, yeah, I can take him for a week, two weeks on the outside. He just bit the owner's uh, wife for the last time. And then they said, hey, can you find him a new home? Well... Empty Phil, Phil Horror with wings over here. Uh, nobody would want, would want a bird in that condition. So I taught him some rules. 
And then I tried to rehome him and he decided he had already figured out his new home. I was just a little dense and it took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> but uh, he's been, you know, he honestly is a blessing to me. He insists on going out for walks. He wants attention. We'll read books like he's a little kid. We'll play games, toddler games. And that is like, he's a toddler for life, but just like a human toddler, you can't just lock him in a cage. You have to give them constant attention, even when you're busy, even when you're not in the mood. But, you know, he, he, he does really, really well. But there's a lot of birds that, you know, getting a harness on them, not easy. Getting them out for a walk, not easy, but they need to build that relationship. They need to feel safe. And Max has figured out that I'm safety for him. 